In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Makira Maker and his post moves, the footwork that he uses so that you can also copy this exact same footwork in your game. Let's get down, let's check out Makira Maker. Okay, so first off, he's getting super wide when it comes to his feet as soon as he catches that pass. So as soon as he gets that pass into the low post, he takes a quick hop out and keeps his feet wide. That hop out is extremely important. That gives him more space to be able to drive, but also having wide feet is going to allow him to be more balanced and have more options when driving. He's keeping the ball high and we can see from his head that he's also looking his, over his shoulder so that he can find the backdoor cuts that could occur. At this time he pivots towards the basket, he's doing a face up move. He's keeping that ball low but away from his defender. He's also trying to keep his shoulders lower than his defender's shoulders so that he has more leverage when he does drive. No matter you're, if you're out on the perimeter or in the low post, if you're looking to drive to the basket, you're going to want to try and get your shoulders lower than your defenders. At this time, he takes a quick shot fake, and when he does that, he raises his shoulders up and he has that zero step. By the way, if you're a defender, never fall for a fake, because if you're going for a shot fake and there's a foot way back here, that's... Uh, tall tale sign that he ain't shooting that ball. However, that is the load step, so you can actually use that yourself when you're trying to, of course, accelerate towards the basket because this engages that Achilles, which is that springiness to your jump. He then takes a dribble towards that left side, and at that time at the second dribble, that defender tries to cut off that lane. This now opens up a massive lane on the spin move, and Makura Maker does that almost perfectly. The only downfall is he was unable to get his foot on the other side of his defenders because that defender's foot was in the way, but he was able to get that elbow in, which did help with that spin move. He was able to go for the shot fake, which got that defender into the air. And while he was in the air, he was able to then pivot around. He looked for the kick out pass, but there was nobody moving to the open spot. So then he did a quick pivot. You should be really good at being able to use your pivot foot if you're a low post player. And that's what he's able to do here to be able to get that foul. In this next move, he does take more dribbles than I would normally say to take. However, here, he's looking for that pass at first. He's keeping that ball up. He's looking over his shoulder. He's looking for these cuts from the opposite side. This is showing me that he is a pass first center, and that means that he could be a potential Nikola Jokic in the future. But he's able to keep that ball high. If you bring that ball low, it's going to get swatted away by smaller defenders. And now he's front facing that player. He takes a couple of back down dribbles to that player. And he then, of course, dips his shoulders to try to look like he's about to attack the middle of that key. When that happens, he takes a quick bump with the reverse spin into that player. That knocks that player down onto his heels, as we can see here. And at this time, he then can turn around and he can go for that shot. See, the benefit here is when you make contact with that defender, you're allowed to do that. And because you're allowed to do that, you can actually use that to your advantage to knock them onto their heels. This is important because as a defender, if you're on your heels, there is absolutely nothing you can do to block a shot. And of course, when it comes to Mecker Maker's wingspan, as we can see here, that is a huge wingspan. There is no way that guy is going to be able to defend that shot or even try to block it because Mecker Maker is just so much longer and because of that, he's able to make that shot. So this is the benefit of having a long center, but a center who's willing to pass. So here, he's got really good footwork. He takes that pivot around, he front faces. He has a cutter going down the middle, but that player is going to be covered really well. At this time, he takes that couple dribble drive towards the basket. He's getting his shoulders lower. He needs to get his body a little bit more into that defender at a higher degree. Right now, he's, I would say, maybe a... 70-ish degree angle, he needs to be more at a 45 to get that defender off of him. However, that comes with time. He's still a very young player. But the benefit of having a pass first center is he can then attack that paint. He can then collapse all of the defenders on him, as we can see here. This is the benefit of having somebody who is willing to go into the paint. And because he has now all five of these defenders 
attention, he can then kick that pass out to a corner three-point shooter. And in the NBA, that is extremely useful because there's a lot of really good shooters in the NBA. Now, when it comes to Macro Maker, he is in this year's NBA draft. This is huge because I personally believe that he has a chance of getting drafted. And I think he would do quite well on a team like the Raptors who are trying to go tall and long. Now, here we see him facing up. This is the type of player he is. He is not a back down center like Shaq. He's a front facing center who likes to pass. He always looks for those backdoor cuts and that's extremely useful if you're playing on a team like a, with a Scotty Barnes or even a LeBron James because they're always cutting down those lanes and because they're able to read defenses ex extremely well but by having a center who is a pass first style center who can be in the low post be a threat of scoring but also be a threat to pass to backdoor cutters that's extremely useful at the NBA level. So that is my take on Makura Maker. I would like to say thanks to Sky over at Sky Priority Management, who is, of course, Makura Maker's uh, management team. And for all of this footage that I was able to get today, I hope that Makura Maker does extremely well in tonight's NBA draft. And I'll see you guys again next time.